My new work has been released, welcome everyone to read my work in Tomato Novel. I hope everyone can enjoy it. Your attention is the driving force behind my writing, and I will strive to tell every story well. Chapter 1 First Sight You are listening at NovelFull.audio De co lois ara trong quatrin lay text. Chapter 2 First Sight 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Young Shen Ling was led by Gu's mother to sit on the sofa, then turned on the LCD TV and handed the remote control to Shen Ling, gesturing for the young man to come by himself, if you come to auntie's house, just treat yourself as your own, don't be constrained. Yu Yen, take care of Xiao Ling. After Gu's mother finished explaining, she walked towards the kitchen, muttering something incessantly. Gu Yu Yen raised her hand and pulled out her ear, turning her gaze to the young man beside her. The young man felt a bit cramped by the sight, turned his head to Gu Yu Yen's eyes, pursed his lips, and smiled lightly. Gu Yu Yen also tugged at the corner of her mouth, turned off her phone, put it in her pajama pocket, stood up, and walked towards her bedroom Shen Ling felt a little stunned when she saw this. Uncle Gu's daughter doesn't seem to welcome me very much. Hmm, it seems that no one would welcome unfamiliar people to come to her home, right? The sound of opening the door came from outside the door again, and Gu's mother heard it and said, Gu Yuhang, remember to come in and change his slippers, otherwise he won't go home next week. The school dormitory will be fine. Gu Yuhang lifted his feet high and lowered them low as he entered the door. He stood by the side of the door and placed his slippers there. He bent down to change his shoes, and as soon as he looked up, he saw Shen Ling sitting on the sofa, yo. Why did the top student come to my humble abode? Where's mom and sister? Shen Ling looked up at Gu Yuhang, and then Gu's mother walked out of the kitchen and slapped him on the back of the head, saying, How did you talk? Xiaoling stayed at home for a while, what did she want to do with your sister? As soon as she got home, she would come to see your sister. It's no wonder Yu Yen despised you and didn't want to die. Mom, my classmate is still there. Stop exposing me, where's my sister? She went out to eat with friends. I was sitting on the sofa just now, so I should go back to the bedroom. Oh, Gu Yuhang placed his backpack on the sofa and glanced at Shen Ling, Mom, where does Shen go sleep tonight? Gu's mother glanced askance and nodded at Gu Yuhang's forehead, there are only three bedrooms at home. Of course, Xiao Ling is in the same room as you, otherwise. Ah. Have you considered my feelings? Well, let's hear your feelings about it. Gu Yuhang saw Gu Mama's slightly heavy face and touched her forehead. She didn't say much anymore and ran towards Gu Yuyan's bedroom, holding her backpack, Gu Yuyan, I brought you some delicious food. Do you want it? Gu Yuyan raised her head and watched as Gu Yuhang came uninvited, didn't knock on the door, frowned and was about to speak. Gu Yuhang immediately took the initiative, sister, next time definitely, next time definitely, no, no, there won't be another time. Gu Yuyan raised her eyebrows and said, What's so delicious? Gu Yuhang closed the door and sat next to Gu Yuyan's bed, flipping through his backpack, burying his head in search. Gu Yuyan closed her eyes as she watched Gu Yuhang's behavior, took a deep breath, and thought to herself, My dear brother, we have a blood relationship. Gu Yuhang took out various snacks and two cups of milk tea from his backpack and placed them on Gu Yuyan's bedside table. Sister, I will rest for half a day tomorrow morning, and we will go to bed later tonight. Can I play games in your room for a while? Please, good sister, he said, you, speak seriously and do as you please, but keep your voice low, otherwise you will know the consequences. Okay. I understand now. Hey. Sister Shen, why did she come to our house and sleep in the same room as me? Dad said he seems to have some conflict with her mother and is currently staying at home. Oh, Gu Yuhang pouted and answered, Oh my, can it be that he's the academic bully you're talking about who always suppresses you? Isn't that right? That's because I didn't put in enough effort, otherwise I would be the top designated student in the school. What's up with Shen Go? 
O. Chapter 3. Dinner. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 4. Night. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 5. Breakfast. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 6. Lunch 1. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 7. Lunch 2. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 8. Lunch 3. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 9. On the Road. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 10. In Hospitals. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text.